Hello guys, my name is Luke Mead and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get your Google reviews to display on your WordPress website. Let's get straight into it. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to head to the plugins area and we're going to download a new plugin. This is a free plugin and what we want to do to find it is we want to search we want to search Google reviews Google reviews widget or just Google reviews, whatever's easiest. And we're looking for this plugin by trustindex.io. We're going to install that. It should only take a few seconds. It's not a very big plugin. Now this plugin is really, really powerful. I highly recommend using it because of the fact it's free, cheap, and easy to use, and offers really amazing widgets to install on your website to display your reviews. So now we have that plug it installed we want to make sure it's activated so we're going to find that and just double check that's activated there it is widgets for Google reviews and it's activated now how we actually create these widgets is we create we go down to trustindex.io actually that's a lie we don't want to do that we actually want to go to and it's not we do want to do this here it is so the first thing we need to do is find your Google place ID and this is how you take your reviews and you find where they're stored. So in my case, I'm going to do it by finding Google Place ID. I'm going to search that here and head to the first link that pops up. I am then going to enter in my location, which in this case is IPM Media. So in my case, my business isn't coming up for whatever reason. We can go about doing this a second way and we can use the Maps URL. So if we go to our listing, we can actually go and get our map zero. If we go, actually let's have a look at directions, IPM media. And then we take this ID and put that into here and check it. We should be able to see, there we go, that it's connected. So that's the other way of doing it. If your place ID finder isn't working but I generally find this is a bit easier so now this is connected it's gonna start pulling those reviews through and we've got a few more steps to go through first off we want to select a layout we've got a heap of choices from sliders like this through to sidebars which fit nicely on a sidebar or we can have a list for example which fits in here we can even have a grid, so this would be good to display on a home page. We can have a badge, which looks quite handy to have sitting in your footer or in your menu somewhere. We can have a button, see if we can even click on it. And we can have some floatings and pop-up ones as well. Now, in this case, let's just select, for example, a button, and let's select this button here. Now, this is then gonna let us adjust the style of the button. So you can see there's different options from borders through to minimal, through to soft, through to drop shadows. I really like drop shadow. So I'm going to select that option. You can choose whatever option suits you. And then get to have a few more options like enable mouse over animation, which I don't want because I think that's a bit annoying. And we can use site to font if we want to, or we don't have to. In this case, I'm just going to not use it. And we're going to hit save and get code. Now, we have this code here, this short code, let's copy that. And now wherever you put this in your website, you're going to see the code. So if we go have a look at our home page and add this code in, we should see this widget start to pop up. And keep in mind, adding these Google reviews to your website is great for SEO because it really helps Google understand that these are your reviews and that they're valuable. So I've added that into the home page. Let's go have a look and see what that's done. Although this website isn't fully built, you can see it right there, there is that Google review and it's a button. If I click on it, you can see that it takes us straight to my company. And that's how easy it is, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't, forget, don't hesitate to leave a like or a subscription. 
It really means a lot to me. Thanks so much for your time today, guys. Keep well. Ciao, ciao.